So, you've been here for eight years? Yeah. How has Dwight changed over those eight years? Um... Our school has changed drastically because, I mean, we started off as like a school that had like, like 200, 300 kids. We started with, I think, 300, 380 students, uh, but now we have 500, 110, 12 students. Our interior changed a lot and our system, like, uh, we're only wearing black shoes to uh, black shoes with white stripes. I think it's changed a lot, especially like um, the field outside here. When I first came, the field was like sand. They did add a lot of facilities. Well, the gym changed a lot. They have a fitness room now, and they have a maker space. And like science labs, and we have like all tech labs. I think it's gotten bigger, like student-wise. New people came in, new teachers, um, like how it looks like it changed a lot. A lot of the teachers also changed, but um, I was kind of glad to see that the core of the school is still the same. I think it has been more um, supportive to students who want to go to university and more uh, encouraging to, for new students to come and join and be a part in Dwight. When you see all these changes, do you feel old? Yeah, I feel really old. One thing I really like about Dwight is that the staff to student ratio is very small, so I get really good support from both my friends and from teachers. All the teachers are really supportive and you learn a lot. I like how um, different grades get around together. It kind of is a small community, so I guess I get to know a lot of different people from different grades, different people from different countries. My favorite thing is the food. I just love it how the teachers more interested about you than you are interested about the subject. Personally, I like school production the best because I think it's a really good time for like everybody to bond and I've made like a lot of friends. If I had to say, I think the community in Dwight's pretty nice. The thing that I like most about Dwight is like the positive energy here and like how the community is like close to everyone and like I just like the energy. So when there's a guy called Jonah and he was my best friend so he left last year and we would always play soccer and do some funny stupid stuff. Being a part in the ski camp. Like every second in the school during art class I just love painting and I also love swimming. Winning the Red Division Championship with my volleyball team and being runner-ups for the kayak tournament this year. My favorite memory is the first time when Makerspace got introduced. To be honest, I don't have a favorite memory because I feel like even when I graduate from the school, like each and every day that I spent here would be a memory to me. What do you want to do when you grow up and get older? Actually, right now I have no clue. I want to be a soccer player or a doctor. My dream is to become a physician or a medical professional so I can help people in need. I want to be some sort of a teacher. Maybe be a businessman or something. Very nice. Just like your dad, right? Yes. <laughs> I want to be someone that performs on stage. Not really in particular. Nothing? Yeah, I think that's not the answer you wanted, but no. I just want to, you know, live how life takes me. I love painting. Sometimes I, my mom tells me to stop painting because I paint too long, like during night times. But I just want to do that for the rest of my life until I like physically can. I, I don't really have like a super big plan for my future. So, but yeah, I want to act or sing. My advice is never like give up. Make close relationships with teachers and friends as you're given the opportunity to do so. Just be kind and don't go crazy and just stay calm. Our school is really a close community and um, we're always there for you so don't be so nervous and just be yourself. There are a lot of people here and you're gonna fit into them like with them really easily so don't 
Like, don't be worried and, you know, be a risk taker. Um, don't procrastinate. Never giving up. Think before you act and you learn from your mistakes. You have to finish your work on the right time. I've learned how to socialize with people, see how the world is from different perspectives. To respect yourself and love yourself before you respect others. Sometimes people will have to go and you can't do anything about that. But it's important to like stay in touch and like keep that friendship. Striving to work hard to get what you want. You always have to be very active and proactive. You don't have to look too far to find the people that really cares about you. My hoodie. Because <laughs> it's really comfortable and um, I've cried in this city, I've laughed in this city, I have so much memory with this city, so I'm just gonna bring this one. After I leave uh, Dwight, I think I'll be more organized. I'd probably take away my best friend. Probably like all the friends that I made during my time here. I feel like I'm gonna take away the people from Dwight that I've met. Not only the students, but also the teachers because they have helped me to become who I am today. I think I'll take the memories like the yearbooks and my friends. The lessons I've learned, I'm going to take those lessons and develop and adapt uh, to the future and kind of build on so I become a better person, better human being. The main thing probably will be to value relationships that you create. I'll definitely take away uh, a few of my friends. I think the sense of community I want to take with me wherever I go and try to rebuild this a similar um, atmosphere with my peers wherever because it was very nice being in the school with the people. Mm -hmm.